there's a third approach that I don't much care for, but how many of you are accountants? My sympathies. <laughs> <laughs> I, every morning I get up, I get down on my knees, I look up at the stars and thank you God for not making me an accountant. But I guess somebody's got to do the dirty work. But if you think about how accountants think about value, what's an accountant's favorite financial statement? The balance sheet. Accountants are the only people left in the world who think balance sheets actually matter. When I value a company, it's the least useful financial statement because it's full, I wouldn't say of falsehoods, but delusions. Like what? Accountants have delusions that something called goodwill actually has a value to it. You know what goodwill is? It's a plug variable. You know why it exists? Because balance sheets have a very unpleasant requirement. They have to balance. And if they don't balance, what do you do? You make up a value. Basically, it's a plug variable. In fact, every year I send these suggestions to Pasby and Gap. They never seem to take my suggestions. About a decade ago, one of the suggestions I sent is, let's rename Goodwill. Let's call it X. In algebra, if you have two numbers that don't match up, you know how you make them match up? You say, let's call the difference X. Goodwill is the most meaningless and destructive asset created in the history of accounting. You know why? Because it sounds good. <laughs> and when something sounds good, you feel the urge to pay for it. You'd be amazed at how many emails I get from people asking, I value a company, I'm done with my valuation, but I just saw there's $3 million of goodwill on the balance sheet. How much should I pay for goodwill? I said, are you out of your mind? That's a plug variable. Why would you pay for it? Ultimately, every valuation that you ever look at has to be either an intrinsic valuation of pricing or a balance sheet based valuation. You think, what's a balance sheet based valuation? You take every item in the balance sheet and you attach one of two numbers to it a liquidation value, which is if you sold the asset today, how much would you pay for it? Or a replacement cost value, which is if I tried to build this asset from nothing, how much? Else? That's it, that's valuation in a nutshell. I've taught my entire class, we're done. Because everything else is detailed. 